guys welcome back to my channel this is currently Friday I'm just about to go out for dinner so don't mind me but I have got a big ride tomorrow this is going to be a bit of a weekend vlog again I just find I vlog on the weekends because it's my big training sessions and during the week honestly guys at the moment during the week my life is training and my business and just getting through the days at this point in time. Like I am in week two of my build with training at the moment. So my days are hectic, weeks are hectic. But I thought, you know, weekends, it's kind of fun for you guys to come along for the bigger sessions. So tomorrow I have a uh, five hour 40 ride with a 55 minute run off the bike. Uh, Sunday I think I have a two and a half hour run and then I'm doing an ocean swim actually in Whitehaven at the Whit Sundays which is where I live which is so epic so I'll take you guys along for the weekend but it is yeah Friday going out for dinner and I thought I have some time so I'm gonna quickly get my nutrition sorted for tomorrow on the bike let's let's do it together last week I did as you saw I did 70 grams of carbs an hour which was coming from this pure sport performance um, race fuel with electrolyte hydration and then gels. So, what do I want to do this week? That's the that's the question. Let's do 80 grams. So, this is some quick math. Oh no, I'm out of water, guys. I hate drinking tap water. I'm not gonna lie, it's not not the grooviest. Anyway. Also, like, I know last week I was testing out this race fuel. I only did one scoop of electrolyte hydration. I'm going to have to do two because it, like, this just felt weird in the water. It wasn't the most, like, seamless, I will say that. Anyway, fam, how are we? Hope we're doing well. Um, <laughs> okay. I feel so scattered because they've got this dress on that's kind of hot. Guys, I also got my period. Probably a road decision wearing white tonight, but anyway, we move on. I'm gonna track my nutrition obviously to see where my carbs are at. So I take a whole bag of these apricot lollies, gluten free apricot lollies, they're actually so good. So this is 125 carbs in itself. We then have the rice fuel. A serving is five scoops, which is quite wild. So let's go. I don't know, I don't know if I. We'll go two scoops again. Actually, we'll go three. Why not? So, it's just a lot. It's a lot hay, like. What's the time? All right. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. So that's one, two. Do I go three? Dunno, man. I'm gonna go two. I just don't know if I really like it, eh? Now, how much sodium's in this? 650 milligrams. Okay, it's quite decent. Oh no, that's... Oh, fuck. Guys, the math is not mathing. So we'll go two scoops of that carb stuff, two scoops of this. One. I feel like I'm doing a fucking science experiment. So I'm doing the ride here, you guys know how I've been travelling to Mackay, which is an hour and a half away. I'm doing the ride here this weekend. Um, I messaged someone that lives here and I know she does triathlons just to like what path she went because I don't know how, what path I should take going that long because it's not the best here for riding. And she said I can swing along with her and her coach. So we'll see how that goes because I think they're quite elite. So... <laughs> I'll see, I'll see what the vibe is, but anyway, at least I have some sort of company. Gels, we have two here, so so far I'm at 1065 cows and I'm at 250 carbs, that's obviously not enough, so one, two, four gels. I don't know if I like the fluid gels, I like, rather the honey. Alright, let's see. 
let's figure this out. About 1,700 calories, 420 grams of carbs, divided by six. That's 70 grams an hour, if I divide that by six. You know what? That's a lot of gels, eh? What do I do, guys? Um, I guess add two more. Wait, this is so many carbs. Six. Holy shit. So now just under 2,000 calories. So that is 465 grams of carbs. Okay, that's just under 80 grams an hour. Let's do that. We'll see how we go. Holy shit is what I will say. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine gels. A whole packet of these. And then one, two, three, eight scoops of things in here. Obviously, two scoops is electrolytes, two scoops is carbs. Uh, yeah. Guys, carbs are your friends when you endurance train. Honestly, you need this shit to keep you going, you know? There's no way I'm bonking, ever. So, okay, perfect. <laughs> we'll see how we go, eh? See how we go. But I'd show you, look at my new bag. So I got this from um, Teddy Blake. They kindly sent it to me and I'll pop on the screen. I think there's a discount code. I think they said I have a discount code. If I do, I'll pop it on the screen. If not, apologies. <laughs> but yeah, how cute. I'm not like, uh, train. actually let's talk about this. Training for an Ironman, it is so um, rogue in the sense of like, you don't, you're just always sweaty. You're always changing outfits, you're in swimmers, you're in activewear. I never really dress up besides going on like a date night. So it's actually nice to have a cute little accessory. Love, there's for all the ladies, go get yourself a bag. <laughs> we are ready to go guys. I attached that last night. Two bottles, all of my nutrition ready. My stuff when I get back. And yeah, it's currently 5.07. I'm gonna do some stretching quickly and then ride down to meet the lady I'm meeting. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit tired, but I'll perk up. <laughs> I've got a six hour brick session over, well over six hour brick session, so let's get it done. Alrighty guys, I'm 65K in. Um, the, the guys I was riding with, they just left before. Um, that was quick. That was definitely the quickest I think I've done in the sense of just like consistent effort to 65k, um, which is a vibe. Average speed 29 and a half. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go literally the exact same path we took out to cross the pine, out to the dam, which is it should be a 100k loop. Um, so I'll see how I go because we stop a little bit short on that loop because they didn't want to, like they weren't doing the whole thing. Um, but yeah, on my own now, let's go. And guys, I, before I met with um, Jess, one of the girls, I fell, <laughs> I pulled up to the bus station and I fell off my bike. Again, I fell off my bike. There was cars that drove past. It was a scene and a half and I just got straight back on. I didn't say anything to anyone. I was like, just forget about that. Just pretend it did not happen. <laughs> But we're going good. Oh, I'm now gonna ride through like the main area to go back out. I just hate roundabouts and shit, like cars. But anyway, we'll be fine. We'll get it done. Hey friends. I am. Oh, my hands grow so weak. Does that happen to anyone? My hands feel like brittle. Um, I am. Uh, 110k in, I think. I'm gonna turn around now. Um, 110k in. So I came back to past the spot we came like before early this morning. So I'm just before the Proserpine Dam. I did not realize how long it was from the turn off to this dam. I've been going for so long. I'm gonna turn around now because I think this is like it'll be by the time I get back home, I feel like that's around the five hour 40 mark. 
because I've got around just under two hours left, I believe. Mm. Mm. I'm feeling pretty good. Like I definitely prefer riding with people, a hundred percent. Especially people better than you, because you really pick it up. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My hands so weak. I feel so brittle. I'm so keen to go for an ocean dunk, guys. It's hot again. I'm so keen for an ocean dunk later on. I've just come to the servo. This is like, quote unquote, my coffee break. But it, I've only got an hour left, so I didn't time my breaks properly. I don't. I haven't had that many. Guys, I've been doing so well. I'm at 132k, and I've got an hour left. Which is wild. So I'll definitely be, like, I'm definitely getting quicker or stronger. Um... But yeah, feeling pretty good. Like I've only got an hour left, which will be back to early, I believe. I'm hoping. <laughs> so I don't have to loop anywhere. Um, but yeah, so good. I'm stoked. I Okay, lesson number one with these long rides. I'm sick of those gels. Like, you know how I love them? I'm, I literally feel sick from uh, the hot gel because it's hot as well. So I bought a bar, a nut bar and a Red Bull and water because I'm out of water as well. Um, yeah. Besides that, going good. Guys, I just finished. Once again, like I feel emotional. <laughs> I'm just so proud of myself. Like what the f That's like, how, how long is that? Five hours, 40, um, six hours. 30? Six and a half hour brick session? I don't know, something like that. That's wild. That's wild. My body felt so good. Body felt great. It's just obviously the heat, your lungs, and overall hardness. But body feels so good after those brick sessions for some reason. I think it's because I'm super warm. Um, but once again, like I'm not going to talk about the weather, you can clearly see she's she's cooking. Um, I'm walking up my hill now, I've got to go have a shower. I'll sort myself out and then I'll talk to you. And like when I mean my body felt great, like my body running felt great, like nothing as of worry. However, which kind of just worried me a bit, I did have cramping that whole run in my stomach. Now, I'm day one period. So it could be my period, it could be that stupid bar I had at the petrol station. You know what, I don't know why I, I got that, I was clearly not thinking rationally, because normally nuts doesn't digest well with me, especially in excess, and that was a pure nut bar. It was like 15 grams of fat, which isn't bad, but for training I needed carbs and not nuts, so that was dumb, that could have been it. The Red Bull, who did I think I am? I never would ever drink a Red Bull, it kind of, gave me PTSD from like party days years ago. Not that I was ever a partier, but like just at festivals. So it, that actually made me feel sick. Um, so I don't know if it was that that was the cramping or my period or like all of them. So I've got a really long ride next, next Saturday. It's 180K. <laughs> so that's perfect. I'm gonna really test my nutrition. Um, and I'm gonna try and find like food, food, of substance because the gels like as you guys know I love the gels but like when they're hot and when I'm eating that many they made me feel sick to my stomach so I need like food like but I'm gluten free and a lot of like the um, the pure carb bars like have gluten in them which is really annoying so I have to figure that out for next Saturday because yeah foods to go never having a Red Bull again <laughs> not having that nut bar again <laughs> and yeah just trial and error but that was the only thing that annoyed me on that run but I just breathed through it I was breathing that whole time in through my nose out through my mouth um yeah guys <laughs> I did it I wish I turned the aircon on at home guys my arm's about to fall off holding you up so I'm gonna turn you off now <laughs> hi friends now 5 43 i just got home and did my groceries 
and I thought I would unpack these and have a bit of a chit chat about that session. So first things first, I definitely felt um, a lot better like on the run than last week. I feel like because it was just that bit hotter last week in Mackay, that definitely zapped me. Whereas on the run today, like it was extremely hot, but it wasn't as bad as last week, like at all. So that definitely helped a shit ton. Um, guys, so I, oh my God. So when I fell at the bus stop, did I think I mentioned that? So, um, I pulled up to the bus stop where I was meeting like everyone and I um, unclipped my left shoe and like I got out, I was fine. And then I don't know what happened. I must have just fell to the right. Like literally I was stagnant and then I fell and now I fully, oh my God. So that whole ride, I shifting to like a different gear, like a whole different level. It was doing this weird noise and I was like, what the hell? And then shifting gears, it was like not working. It was um, it was working, but I had to like double click to shift the gears. It was real. I was like, something's not right. And I thought it's either because my ch I didn't lose my chain and or from my fall. Um, anyway, got back. Luke and the boys got back from fishing, and I got them to look at my derailleur, and it was fully bent, fully bent, because I fell on that side, and I'm so upset because like. I have such a big ride this weekend. I'm going back to Lennox midweek. So I don't know if I need a whole new part and like how they're going to get that in quickly. Like, yeah, I'm so annoyed, so annoyed. But anyway, that happened, but I still obviously got the ride done. My watch, my freaking, my watch also died and I had like half an hour to go, which is so frustrating. And I don't know when it died actually, because I looked down and it was just black and I was like, oh my God, how much have I missed? And I felt like I actually did extra than 150K. I think that's what I tracked from Strava and my watch. I think I did extra because I was figuring out in my head and I went further than halfway when I was going back to the dam. So I feel like I did a little bit extra. Um, but anyway, we got the bike done. It was around, I'm gonna say 155K, like roughly around there. And then the run was 10k. Um, but yeah, like I said before, it was a bit of a quicker ride than last week. Like I went a bit quicker, which is good. That means I'm progressing. And um, yeah, like overall the bike felt good. I definitely prefer to ride with people. Like this out to get out. I, so I left them, I think like I touched in like 60 something k's. And like it was fine. Like it actually went pretty quick because I mentally was breaking up in my mind. But yeah, like I got that done, that was pretty good. I was on a roll at certain points. Like I feel, when I top off my carbs, I feel them. Does anyone else do that? Like I feel my carbs as soon as they're in my system. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned on my run, I had those cramps, which I don't know was if it was from that bar or the freaking Red Bull or something. Anyway, um, I also, so I have apricot lollies on the bike and I really want more solid food because gels just make me feel sick at this point in time. I don't know what's happened. I love them and I ordered so many more coming. I'll obviously still have them, absolutely. But I don't think I can rely on that many on the bike because like whilst I'm sitting, I might as well eat food. So I literally have lollies now. <laughs> like this is my life at this point. Um, these are gluten-free lollies. It's the fruit salad. If anyone's gluten-free, the natural, this is Australia. The Natural Confectionery Co. Uh, fruit salad. These are the only ones I'm pretty sure that are gluten free. Stocked up on those. Got over the lights. So yeah, guys, we'll see how it goes. Um, but anyway, that's my update. So I have a two-hour, thirty-minute run tomorrow, and I'm going to Whitehaven to do a swim. And, uh, um, yeah, it's an event at Whitehaven, which is a really nice location. But I'll get home late because it's like a whole day out because the boat ride to get there is like an hour and a half or hour and 15. So it's going to be another big day tomorrow, but I'm going to go to bed super early. Like it's what, 10 to 6. I'm going to make dinner and then head to bed. Luke's actually asleep. He's stuffed up. I told him to set the alarm for 20 minutes because you know how like there's a buffer. He's well past that, so he stopped up his sleep tonight, but what can you do? <laughs> anyway, another brick session, and 
it's so wild to think about because next weekend I have the 180k ride and then I go to Everest like a few days after that and then I get back and there's four weeks to go like that is insane yum guys look at this what a fade good morning friends it's 4 30 on sunday i have a two and a half hour run and i'm leaving this early because of my ocean swim today and the boat leaves at like eight i think and i've got to check in and stuff at the boat so i've got to get this run done i'm a little bit nervous just because it's pitch black but it's fine i've got you guys i'm gonna whip out my camera if anything happens <laughs> um <laughs> So yeah, let's get it done. I'm tired, just keeping it real. But as soon as I start running, I should be fine. I do have my earphones today because it's a bit longer, but we'll see if I use them. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go. Do you wanna know what's killing me right now? My freaking knee where I fell off yesterday, just down there. It's like really bruised on my, that bone that joins your knee. That's hurting. Heart rate low 116. First show, guys. Mm -hmm. Stunning. How pretty. Hey guys, two minutes left. I didn't feel much because that was a bit more challenging. I just, my legs are quite heavy. Just wanted to get that one done and she's nearly done. And I gotta quickly go home, get dressed and then catch the boat to Whitehaven. Yeah, I'll check in in one minute. Woohoo! <laughs> Overall, like I felt like my heart rate was in a really good spot. Like I was actually trying to pick up the pace because often I was getting notified my heart rate was a little bit too low for the ranges Liz set me. So I was trying to pick up the pace. Um, but it's just like my legs are, I could feel my legs, they're quite heavy. Nothing bad, um, but more than usual, that's for sure. And like, to be honest, it's quite expected after <laughs> like a six and a half hour brick session yesterday. So. When you put it into perspective, it does make sense. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm crunched for time. I'm gonna quickly have some food, get ready before I literally miss this boat. Returning <laughs> 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 actually so much fun it was such a good day out um i obviously like you would see snippets but i couldn't obviously get any like excessive footage because we were swimming <laughs> um but yeah it was two k's it was good and obviously it was a, it was at white haven beach which is like one of the nicest beaches i want to say like ever but especially in australia it's such a beautiful beach so yeah it was amazing i'm parched i'm so parched i just stopped at woolies guys you know the drill you know the drill anyway um yeah it was so fun so me and billy booked it um one of the guys i train with i swim with he's such a legend so we booked it to go to do the swim and um just before i got on the boat i met these two legends from they're originally from ireland but they've lived in australia for like quite a while now and we it was just like us for the whole day and it was so fun and it was just like good company and I just like love, I love days like that of just like meeting new people and being in those environments. I literally love it. So yeah, that was honestly so much fun. Um, I'm definitely tired. My body feels really heavy. I'm like really sore. Um, not from swimming, like swimming actually felt quite nice, but from just like the week of training, I've definitely, so a bit of an update. This is week two of my three week build. Um, and this is like a really heavy training week. I think it's like 22 hours or something like that. Um, 
yeah so it's just been a lot and I can definitely feel it today especially after my run this morning but anyway I'm gonna go home shower guys do you know how good it is like when you're out in the sun all day and then you come home to shower like it's elite so I'm gonna do that and then stretch quite a bit have a feed and half a dinner I just stopped off and got food because I'm hungry right now I didn't eat much at that um, swim event because they didn't have anything gluten-free which is kind of annoying but anyway that's first world problem um, so yeah, gonna eat some food now because I'm literally, I just feel like parched and a bit hungry, you know, like after a big day out, big day out. So I'm gonna do that, go home, shower, eat dinner, watch the grand final, footy grand finals on tonight, NRL, if anyone watches it, absolutely vibe. So we'll watch that and call it a weekend. What a successful weekend of training, literally. It feels so weird to like think about my life before Ironman training like what did I do on the weekends honestly because at this point in time my weekends are literally training but we're here for it so yeah guys wow what a good day they would like oh just such good company love them so good um anyway catch you at home Hi friends, thank you for watching this week's vlog. Um, I'm currently just wrapping up editing you. Uh, so that's why my neck looks like it's gonna snap and I'm in this rogue position. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that vlog. We are eight weeks out. We are literally eight weeks out. Just take a moment for that. We are eight weeks out. Um, yeah, so another successful week down. I'm now heading into week three of my three week build and I go to Everest next week. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Anyway, thanks for the love. Love you guys. Have an amazing week. Go push yourself and I will see you guys next week. Bye.